Hey everyone, this is Cameron Benick, Team Aloft, and today we're going to be taking a look at the blue pin locations for the 2021 Green Lake Open presented by Sheboygan Brewing Company. The Green Lake Disc Golf Park was designed by 2009 Disc Golf World Champion Avery Jenkins. The blue course is a par 60 measuring at 7,800 feet. Hole 1 is a 235 foot par 3. This comes in at the shortest hole on the course and feels like a must birdie opportunity. The two plays are going to be a straight to stable forehand hitting this direct gap or a understable putter or mid range. Hole 2 is another great opportunity for getting a birdie. Measuring at 330 feet in a par 3, you're aiming to throw a straight shot down the center fairway with a little hyzer at the end, finishing towards the basket. Coming in at 370 feet, hole 3 is going to be a tricky chance of birdie. You want to throw something that's going to move from left to right to get around this corner and have maybe a long putt. If not, just laying up and having an easy par is more than fine. Hole 4 will be our first par 4, measuring in at 540 feet. The safe play is to throw something super straight, making sure you hit this initial gap, landing somewhere at the corner, and then throwing an approach to try and get a birdie. If you want to get a little more aggressive, you can throw something a little faster and a little more stable, trying to push around the corner and have an easier approach at the green. Hole 5 is a par 3 measuring at 280 feet and is another great opportunity for birdie. The preferred play for most players is going to be a straight to stable mid range or driver hyzering through this gap and towards the basket. If you prefer the forehand play, there is a slight flex forehand that can hit this backdoor gap. Hole 6 will be our second par 4, measuring in at 715 feet. It's very important to hit this initial gap and throw something very straight to stay in the fairway. Landing at the corner will present you two different lines, either this backhand hyzer or a forehand on the left. Really trying to just play position golf with a chance at a birdie, but par is more than fine. Hole 7 is 375 feet and a very demanding par 3. There's this very tight initial gap off the tee where you want to throw something as straight as possible and have little to none left to right movement. 
The main thing you don't want to do is hyzer out early and have no look for the up and down. Hole 8 is another gettable par 3 measuring at 300 feet. The main play is going to be a straight to stable forehand hitting this initial gap and fading toward the basket. If you would prefer to throw backhand, there is this backdoor flex line that you need to throw on Annie with something overstable so it hyzers back towards the basket. Hold 9 is a 575 foot par 4 with a very specific shot shape at the beginning. You want to throw either a straight to stable backhand or a slight turnover forehand landing at this corner. Once you get to the corner, you'll have a second approach shot with either a forehand straight to stable or a backhand turnover missing these last couple guardian trees and having a putt for hopefully a birdie. Hole 10 is a 400 foot, very demanding par three to start your back nine. You want to throw something through this initial gap and either have it turn over with the backhand or just a huge forehand that goes straight and then hyzers towards the basket. If you have lots of power and lots of distance, this will be one that you're trying to birdie. If not, you want to play this one for par and just don't take any big numbers. Hole 11 is 390 feet and again a very demanding par 3. If you have the distance, you want to throw a backhand distance driver on a slight hyzer flip, hugging this left side and really pushing and gliding towards the basket. If you don't have enough power, you really just want to stay in the fairway and have an easy up and down for your par. Hole 12 is a 620 foot par 4 with a couple ways of attacking. You can either throw a straight to stable backhand or a straight to stable forehand. If you throw the backhand, you want to try and aim a little bit more left of the fairway, setting yourself up for a second approach shot, throwing nice and straight through this gap, landing by the basket and having a birdie look. If you throw the forehand, you want to land on the right side of the fairway, having a backhand hyzer into the green. Hole 13 is a 245 foot par three and another must get birdie opportunity. Throwing the left side of the fairway, you can throw either a straight to stable forehand or a understable putter or mid-range. If you would prefer to throw a hyzer, there is a backdoor hyzer route that has to get sneaky through a couple guardian trees. Hole 14 is a 375 foot par three. You're looking to throw a driver down the middle of this fairway for about two thirds of the flight until you want to hyzer right towards the basket after you get around a couple of these guardian trees.
Hole 15 is a 675 foot par 4 that has a very intimidating tee shot. You need to throw something that is very straight and has as much distance as possible landing somewhere either in the middle of the fairway or on the left side giving yourself an opportunity to throw an approach into the green. It's very important not to get off the fairway or you can have a very tough time scrambling back to the basket for par, possibly bogey. Hole 16 is another gettable par 3 measuring at 275 feet. You want to throw something straight that will have a little hyzer at the end, making sure you hit this initial gap, then hyzering toward the basket for your birdie putt. Hole 17 is a very difficult 400 foot par 3. You want to throw something as far as possible, trying to land somewhere in the fairway to either have a birdie putt or just an easy approach for a 3. If you get too aggressive and get a bad kick off one of the trees, you may have a hard time scrambling for a par and possibly getting a bogey. Hole 18 is a 700 foot par 4 to end your long round at the Green Lake Disc Golf Park. You want to throw something pretty far off the tee, trying to aim for this group of three trees in the middle of the fairway and just missing it either left or right. Landing somewhere in the fairway, you'll have an approach into the green, throwing either a straight to stable forehand or a long turnover shot. Getting birdie here is going to be very difficult and require two very good shots, but trying to throw placement shots can help play for par and eliminate chances for big numbers. <laughs> <laughs> 